What's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. This right here is Future Vision 4K R panels. Now, mind you, we'll have these in smaller panels. We'll have these in larger panels. The biggest panel we make is 4x8. That screen is going to be going for around $2,800. We got people already knocking on our back door just to get that screen. You'd be surprised. Um, we're going to have it in panels for commercialized use and so forth. So if you don't want to do panels, we have a larger, gigantic uh, surface of it. Now, something I want to actually talk about here. Someone was saying, but I don't want the lines in the middle of the screen. You're not going to see those lines on the screen. Now, if you look at a panel television, the reason why you see those little black lines in between, because it's a television, it's an LCD television. And in between where the, the casing is, it actually, where the screen is actually molded into, or actually placed into with all the circuits and stuff that make the TV, the TV, what it is there's going to be a little trace of plastic around that to keep that screen into that casing now with that when you put those together that's what makes up the little black line that goes around the screens now these screens are different these screens don't have a casing around them because it's a projection screen so they're completely borderless so you won't see it but just want to put that out there so I'm going to put that interesting comment in my YouTube video I just want to put that out there for you all right so as you can see look at the light in our environment do we have enough light here you think so we got enough light i'm trusting that door is going to be open up soon too now something that what's what i want to talk to you about when people do ambient light controlled not ambient light control but when they do demonstrations and they're showing the screen off to be ambient light rejection number one blocking existing windows with your projection screen is a no-no because you're basically blocking physical light that needs to be in that environment which means you're controlling the light in that environment because your screen is literally sitting up against the windows and you're blocking out any light coming through that is a huge red flag right there that that screen does not work well it doesn't work correctly in fully a fully lit environment because those windows should not be blocked that natural light should be coming in to filter out that room that's, one, that's a big red flag right there. I've seen that in a few demonstrations, the screen literally sitting right next to the windows to block out any light coming in. And, it, and at that, there's not even any kind of light coming in, period, because they'll have any kind of black, uh, um, um, blackout cloth kind of material to block the light. Uh, number two, my personal favorite one, is when they take the camera and they point it in this direction, which would be their, I guess, dining room or whatever, you'll notice that there's light coming in through the window but in the area where the screen is sitting, it's still dark. That means the light that's generating in that room has nothing to do with the light in this room because it's not in contact with the screen. Got me on that one? Now, the door. I love this one too also. They'll open up the door like so. And they'll have the door on a slant like this. So the screen will be sitting behind the back. This is where the screen will be sitting. The physical screen will be sitting right here. All right, so the crack of the door, the light will kind of come, some light will come through and hit the screen, but the majority of the light will be passing in this direction. It has nothing to do with the screen whatsoever. That's another thing I have to point out. I love that when they open up the door and says, look, there's ambient light coming into the environment. Again, if you look at the back of the screen, the back of the screen is dark. If there was physical light coming in and connecting with the screen, all this would be illuminated. That's how it works. That's why I love when I see these demonstrations where they'll put them outside and they'll have all kinds of, they'll have trees, they'll have everything there to block the physical light from actually hitting the screen. And then they'll use a high-end projector, they'll use 4K upscaling, they'll do um, the calibration, all this crazy stuff they'll do in order to enhance the picture or to order to make up for what they're gonna lose from what the ambient light will take away. Now, I'm gonna show you what we do in our demonstrations. As you've seen a lot of my demonstrations, I have a 180 inch screen upstairs, fully lit environment. That screen takes on a ton of light. I've done that demonstration on 200 lumens. I've done it on uh, 2,500 lumens. I've done it on 1,500 lumens. I've done different, different make and models of projectors. I've done it already. I've done it against high-end, uh, high-tech projection screens. Now this right here is our next level in technology. It's one of the most advanced screens we have ever designed. I'm gonna show you why. Here's the projector I'm using. No 1080p, no 4K upscan, no calibration of the projector. This is just a BGA projector. Now, I made a mistake. I have to apologize. In the last video demonstrations I did on this particular projector, I do apologize. I was doing some research on it. I thought the projector was made in 1970. It's actually uh, 04. So it was 2004 is when this particular make and model was made. You know, we all make mistakes, but like I said, I'm correcting it right here now. So anyway, 
even even at a 204 projector and this is what 2017 that's still a pretty old projector so anyway this is my NEC uh, VT47. Uh, this projector is 1500 lumens, 600 by 800 res. It is, uh, I said 1500 lumens already, right? This is only VGA only. We're doing this in 720p. We are about, from where this stands from here, about 12 feet from the screen already. Now, just to make this interesting, because like I said, I'm going to show you how we do it with the door. You notice my door hits all the way over. That the light that's here has no choice but to cascade and hit the screen. It's in line with the screen. Not this, we're not doing it this way. We don't have it here. Where the light hits here and physically pushes here, we have the door open. There you go. All right. So we have the door open. Let me tripping over stuff. We have the door open. We have a lamp here. We have a lamp here. We have our oversized light over here. It's pretty well lit in here. Don't you agree? Now let's begin. Let's show you what this screen can do. Ooh, sexy. All right, so let's begin. Oh, and if you notice, do you see any lines going across the screen? That's something I want to point out right there really quick. Uh, yeah, see, I was explaining to you that because the screen doesn't have a plastic molding around it to actually encase the screen itself, you don't see those little lines there. See what I'm getting at? There you go. This is what I was explaining to you. You know, like I said, you have to really look at our videos, really do the research. Some people do, and some people don't. They're so quick to judge our technology. Just look at it. Just study it. You know, we take away from the ambient light controlled environment. We take away from uh, everything that's going to distract the screen. It's just a projector and screen. That's all it is. And as you can see, judging by the um, low entry level projector I have, it's the projector that does all the, I mean, sorry, it's the screen that does all the work. My bad. Look at that. Now, I'll knock out my overhead lights. See how, how powerful the contrast level is on this screen. For this screen to be able to pick up, especially as light as the screen. Let me go over here real quick. My, uh, let me grab something else. See how everything fades away around that screen? How powerful these screens are. Get that pad out of the way real quick. There we go. Turn my overhead lights. There you go. That's our technology right there.
We're using a projector from 04. Like I said, I apologize last time because I got it. I got it made a mistake there. I thought it was 1970. I don't know why. I did. You know, I looked at some specifications, and the, I think the um, information on the specs was incorrect. It said 1970, so that's what I went with. But it was 04. It doesn't make a difference. 04, 1970. Still, the projector is very, very old. Consider the fact, like I said, this is 2017. And consider the fact we're not doing any form of calibration. No 4K upscaling. No 1080p. We're doing this in a fully lit room. You can see my door is fully extended wide open my projection screen does not sit behind the door and we're in a well lit environment I got my overhead lights look at this look how powerful these screens are Let's see we don't hide our screens from the light this is the difference between our technology and what's out there on the market. And look at this. For those who, for the fellow who was speaking about, oh, I don't want to see the lines in between the screen. Well, you look up real close on that. Tell me where you see any lines at in this screen. And so I was explaining to you about that theory. When you see a panel TV, like multiple monitors put together, the reason why you're going to see that little line in between is because when the LCD monitor is actually placed into that case, it will have a small little black border on where the LCD sits in that casing. So that's what you're seeing when you're looking at a monitor that has multiple monitors connected together, panel monitors. You're seeing that little LCD line there. Now, because it does that LCD line is plastic and not the actual screen itself, that's why you're seeing the black line. With this technology, there is no line. It's just a screen. So when you put the screens together, they become one. You do not see the line. Hmm. Gotta, you gotta really look at the technology. So imagine, you can take these little squares and you could piece 20, 30, 40 of them together, make giant screens, make customized screens, and they don't even, you can't even see the line. All right, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Itch Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration on the Future Vision 4K panels. They'll be coming out in December. Uh, just when you might want to pre-order these screens. Pre-orders will be coming up very soon on the screens. We'll start having the pricing and so forth. Right now, the screens are still somewhat in research and development. But right now, more like with our legal department getting the patents locked into this technology. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching.